In a workshop with media today, state legislators from both chambers and both parties said education reform is the number one objective for this year, but most of them gave different suggestions on how to better educate our children. Jacob Reynolds has more. Education was the talk of the day at a legislative workshop with media before the new session. Almost unanimously, they agreed education reform is a top priority, but most had different ideas on how to do it. Republican Horry County Senator Greg Hembree gave his ideas. Is to do everything we can to get the best teachers and best leaders in the schools. So it really is about recruiting, training, and retaining high quality educators and leaders. Hembree's plan is three parts. A 10% raise over three years for every state employee making less than $100,000, including teachers. A statewide program where quality veteran teachers take more time mentoring young educators. And a wholesale analysis of the time teachers spend doing other child care outside the classroom. But he says nothing would be a quick fix. There's no silver bullet. It's a process. It's not, not going to be a, you know, that's the magic bill that's going to make education because it's so much more complicated. You're Across party lines, ideas range from top to bottom education, finance reform, teaching reform, evaluation reform, changes to education lottery funds, and school district consolidation. Others hinted major change could come this session, while some said it was a work in progress. The discussion was not limited to just K through 12 public schools. In my opinion, the General Assembly has failed to acknowledge its role in underfunding our ed. That goes back to when we switched over to our, to uh, performance funding and all of that. Cobb Hunter added that rural districts need even more help bringing in quality K through 12 educators than just higher salaries. All told, almost every legislator who spoke wants to go to the chalkboard for education reform, but for the moment, don't agree on the right answer. In Columbia, Jacob Reynolds, News 19, WLTX. All right, Jacob, thank you. House Speaker Jay Lucas told his chamber education was the session's top priority. Uh, when speaking to the media today, leaders also said it would be a major focus of their chamber starting next week. So hopefully we're going to see some movement.